quite an emotional day as soon as I walked in this morning. I heard the music, I got goosebumps. I thought, oh gosh, this is going to be really emotional. Let's look after each other as well throughout today. This is people just giving up on life. They didn't even have the energy to kill themselves. And it included a teenage child with resignation syndrome. How do we do this to our people? To understand the reasons why somebody is there is very difficult. But it is not 15 steps from where a taxi can legally drop you off. There's space there for intervention. work actually contributing in a small way to my own um, illness um, and contributing towards my suicide attempt. Is this something that you would consider doing? <laughs> Couldn't get any help and at 16 she took her own life. I realised not only had there been no support for her, but there was no support for us afterwards. My brother was one of those. Sadly, he was being discharged from secondary services. And it was during that time that Sean sadly felt he had no option but to end his life. And it was just the worst thing. And I just thought, if someone doesn't do something about this, it's always going to be the same case. I thought, I'm going to create a space where men can feel that they can have fun and a reason to get out of bed. So we started off really, really small, probably with about four or five men for our first couple of weeks. Absolutely chatting, because have a million short places and it wouldn't be enough. 75% of suicides in Wigan are men. But the harbours, they've just taken off in every community. Wigan has a lot of boroughs. Um, we're open to men and women. Told in court, Natasha would have been dealt with in the summer. She died at Easter. Respect, it needs to be threaded through everything. Respect for all those dimensions of children, not just their academic skills. Um, there was a report written by the Times Education Commission um, called Bringing Out the Best. And one of the things that that report says, um, it's only 40 pages long, do have a look at it. It was published in June 2022. And they said that um, about one third of our kids are failed by the education system. You know, we really celebrated key workers during lockdown and valued them. And what happens now is you're only really valued if you get a, a nine. Um, and one of the most significant things that I've learned actually is just how far behind we are just how badly we are letting our kids down. Because I thought we were, but when you really see how other places are doing it and how it can be done and how it's just the norm for them there, you know. Ending her own life was the worst thing Ruth could possibly have done. That desperate act devastated our family, her colleagues, the hundreds of her pupils and a whole community. Never ever mention it outside of the house. And earlier this year, he came to me and he said, I know you do a lot in suicide prevention. I think I'm finally ready to talk about it. Um, and he said to me that he was like, I don't know. We now have an open verdict on her destiny because we believe our Jessica wanted to live but she didn't want to live that life of domestic abuse. The importance of that reaching out, of taking that time, of having as much time as, as I needed uh, was really important. That conversation changed my life because conversations do.
So there are about 12 million people, which is the one in five of the population that live in rural areas.